Hey there, I'm John Zimmerman with Table Rock Trout Unlimited and Upper Creek Angler and today we're going to be tying a fly that I've had a lot of success with lately and it's called, what do we call this, Duracell Jake. Hey there, I'm John Zimmerman with Table Rock Trout Unlimited and Upper Creek Angler and today we're going to be tying a fly that I've had a, um, a ton of success with over the last couple of months and it's called a Duracell jig. I keep this in um, jig sizes from 12 all the way down to 18. The thread color is relatively unimportant um, but I'm using a Viva size um, 8 alt here with a, um, a silver, the original pattern had a really sparkly silver bead on it. Um, the fish that I'm over right now have been hit by um, one fly after another so I'm using, have been using a slightly more subdued bead color. The tail on this is going to be um, Carte de Leon fibers. If you don't have Carte de Leon, um, any hackle fiber will, will work just fine. You could even use pheasant tail but the, the hackle fibers are um, much sturdier than um, pheasant tail fibers. They will, they'll just last a, um, a lot longer. If you tend to lose a lot of flies, then, well, it doesn't really matter. They're not going to um, have a chance to last anyway. So you can see there, I did what I usually do in utilizing waste materials to help me achieve a really natural taper early on. As um, the feathers are thinner back here, thicker up here. So if you'll tie them down all the way up to the top, you will help yourself create a, um, a natural taper. Not that it matters a lot because this is a dubbing bodied fly, um, but it, it is helpful to go ahead and, and get a start there. Our ribbing on this fly is going to be um, copper wire. I'm going to use some small here. If you wanted the wire to really stand out against the against the dubbing you could certainly tie in a red or a hot orange. I usually keep several in the the hot orange but as the the water levels have dropped so much around here in the the drought that we seem to be bound up in and I've tried to create a little bit less striking contrast and some patterns as of late so that the fish don't um, see that massive difference and and freak out the body on this is going to look purple but it is actually uv ice dub in brown it's just the the uv portion of this that is making it look purple it is definitely brown and we'll just take the dubbing or the wire up We'll turn around the bead or near the bead to really cement it in. Then we're going to go back and work on the rest of the fly. If, you can, if you've got a pair of crappy scissors, then you can um, cut that off. Otherwise, just break it or helicopter it off. Go back down here. And uh, the the legs, the collar, whatever you want to call it on this fly are going to be CDC feathers. And you could do this any number of ways. You could actually just peel these guys off and dub them right onto the thread. Um, or you can do what I'm going to do and um, peel them off and tie them into a dubbing loop. Um, there are all kinds of really like super complicated requires materials that you probably shouldn't waste money buying. If you want to do that, then that's totally fine. But I just peel them off, bundle them up here, and then go in and cut out the, the stem that gathers them together. And then we'll give this dubbing loop spinner a spin. You can see we've got our uh, CDC collar going right there. 
scissors out of the way. Bring that forward. Pull these guys back. And tie this down. So our um, dubbing loop has been tied in. Ready to snip it out. And finish the, the rest of the bug. So I'm a big fan of these these guys going back a pretty good ways. There's a an errant one right there that needs to get clipped a little short. But the the more these guys wiggle, the better. We'll finish the fly up with just a a cleanup of UV ice dubbing in brown again at the very top of the fly just to color, cover up our thread work there. And um, this fly has been super productive, especially when nothing else seems to be um, working in wholesale. So this is a really great bog. Um, I keep them in my boxes tied in a, a lot flashier with a bright silver bead, hot orange ribbing, but the, the lower the water has gotten and the clearer the water has gotten this fall, the, the duller I've started going on them. So this is a, a great fly to catch fish, especially when they're not eating anything else. I keep it in um, sizes 12 all the way down to 16. I may even have a couple 18s thrown in um, a couple of boxes here and there. So tie this one up. It requires very few materials and um, I am 100% sure you could mix up the, the color of the dubbings on this to match different colored insects and you'd be um, hitting a home run too. Happy time.